The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Palatka, Florida, Michelle McCool. And the opponent, from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 248 pounds, John Cena! And welcome to a sold-out show from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside, and have we got a show for you tonight. Hey, Cole, we're in the desert. This is nuts. Every SmackDown show is bigger and better than the ones that came before, and tonight's gonna be bigger than all of them. That's a bold statement, partner, but I can't disagree. I don't think Phoenix has any idea what they're in for tonight. Superstars are clearly giving it their all tonight. Not a surprise there at all, Paul. I mean, tell me the last time that you saw a WWE Superstar only go halfway. I don't think I ever have, Taz. Everyone on the roster gives 110%. If they didn't, they wouldn't be here. Come on, ref. That should have been a disqualification right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, Cole. But it's not. It's not a disqualification. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed to get a hell of a show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. Man, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears shed in that ring over the years. And if these superstars have their way, there's going to be a lot more to shed here tonight. Oh my, the submission hold is locked in. And this ain't easy to get out of either, Cole. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. Cole, what you got to realize, to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. That was a textbook reversal. You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. 
and we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Whoa, that's your territory, partner, not mine. I'm perfectly happy staying right where I am. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight Champ in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. Look at these superstars go. It's obvious they've done their homework on each other. That's for sure. This match might have been over by now if they hadn't. 90% of a match is in the preparation, Cole. You gotta come ready. Oh, man. This is just about the last hold you want to find yourself in. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're gonna win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponents. I gotta say, Cole, when I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think. But these superstars are blowing me away right here. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a tremendous matchup. And I haven't been disappointed. Well, I wouldn't say I'm not disappointed, but I'll talk about getting stuck with you as a broadcast partner. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. Now, oh, would you look at this? Talk about arrogant. It's sickening. Actually, I think it's great. That's not arrogance, that's confidence. And that's what wins matches. What an incredible match we've seen so far. And it ain't over yet, Cole. It sure isn't. I think these superstars could keep going for quite a while longer. Let me tell you, Cole, I spoke to these superstars before the match, and I ain't never seen competitors more fired up and ready to get it on. Judging from how this match has gone so far, Taz, I have no trouble believing that whatsoever. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're gonna be snippy, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. I'm sure they have it, Cole. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. As soon as you let the slightest doubt into your mind, you can forget about it. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. What a submission maneuver. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of your call, that's the truth. And let me tell you, it's better to give than receive. What a reversal! Ha! Ah, talk about being a little delusional. The size difference between them is just too much. This 
one could... Oh, man, here it comes. And that might be the end of the match right there. There's a reason that's called a finishing move. I don't know. He's putting a lot on the line going up there. You look at any other sport in the world, you won't find a single athlete that can compare with a WWE superstar. And there's a reason for that, Taz. There are no off-seasons here in the WWE. If you're a superstar, you're performing every week of the year. And we're not talking about just swinging a bat or kicking a ball, neither. WWE is the most physical competition you can be a part of, hands down. I love it! Talk about rubbing your opponent's face in it. Yes, but this might not be the smartest course of action. This match is far from over. I'll tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys. But these superstars are really raising a bar here tonight. They should. Look at this, Cole! Look at this! Oh my god! There's a reason that's called a finishing move! The match usually doesn't go much longer! These superstars are short. Here's the pin! One, two, three! Whoa! Stick a fork in it, Cole! This match is done! You know, Here's I don't know your if everybody's gonna be happy with the decision, but it's pretty Michelle clear who won that one. Cool. It's hard to argue the referee's call. The ref counted the pin, and that's that. Nah, no doubt, Cole. If anyone's got a problem with it, they better hope